In every universe, Team Fazbear's is always a constant. There exists the Fazbear's in every universe. And the alternate versions of Team Fazbear's, some good, some evil. From the cosmos and galaxies that I forged, and, my, and the realities that my father, Infinity, was responsible for creating. But, but it wasn't always like that. But, all teams always have humble beginnings. You see, Team Fazbear's wasn't always the peacekeeping worldwide organization that it was today. They were known as the Fazbears, the guardians of Fazbear Hills. And one day when Lobin and Jaga proposed that they take their, their superhero antics and make it bigger and have a higher goal of protecting not just Fazbear Hills, but the world. The Fazbears disagreed with Lobin's claims, wishing to stay just local in Fazbear Hills. But then when an army of dead space came to invade Earth, the Fazbears fought off against this threat. And then they fought off another threat, and another, until they ultimately became the worldwide peacekeeping organization they are today. Team Fazbears kept expanding their rank, and more members eventually joined the team, until their reach was worldwide. But what if this all never happened? What if the Fazbears never became Team Fazbears, but instead, Team Fazbears died? Early on in their superhero career, Team Fazbears were infiltrated by a mole. Toy Foxy was captured and mind controlled by, by the Fazbears arch nemesis Springtrap by a mind-controlling bug made with the remnants from Dead Space. She was sent in to be a sleeper agent and to infiltrate the ranks of Team Fazbear before ultimately being discovered by Golden Freddy. And Springtrap's plans were foiled. But what if in another reality this never happened? What if Toy Foxy succeeded in her mission of wiping out the Fazbears? What if Team Fazbear's died. Look, lol, but I said this once again. Like, there's no, like, I, I think we were that the Fazbear should just stick to protecting Fazbear Hills. But Freddy, listen, you guys are famous here. And what if, like, everywhere else, you'll be famous there too. Like, we could protect Fazbear City. We could protect Tron City. We could protect here. We could protect there. We could protect the whole entire world. Lol bit, we're st I'm sticking, me and my team are sticking to protecting Fazbear Hills. You protect the world, I protect my turf, alright? Now have a good day. <sighs> Freddy, so stubborn, just... Does he ever, like, does he ever listen, you know? Look, I understand him more than anyone else. He's my son. He's... I'm... I will just leave him alone for now. I think he met him. He's made up his mind. Yeah, I guess you're right. You know, Lulbit, hopefully my son will be able to see exactly the potential that the Fazbears have in the future. Will he ever? Like, I've known him for a long time, since I was a little kid. Yeah, but I've known him since I was a little kid. I even helped mentor him in using his, those powers of his. Hopefully once we make it to the theater and make it to see Ant-Man and the Wasp, then that way I can forget about this. Right. right. Ah! Ah! Freddy? Freddy! No! My sons! They're in there! Freddy, Chica, Puppet, Bonnie, Foxy, Gold Freddy, Toy Foxy. No, no, the Fazbears, my dream. This can't be happening. This has to be some sort of nightmare. 
this has to... Uh... I'm glad that all of you can make it. I'm glad that you can all make it to the memorial of not just just Freddy and Golden Freddy, but also the memorial of Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and the puppet. Of the seven members of Team Fazbear's that were in the, the Fazbear base when they exploded, only one of them were able to survive the explosion. The others, the other six, weren't so lucky. Their bodies were burnt very badly, so we have to do a closed casket funeral and we just have to stuff them all in just one casket. But all six of them are in there, just so you know. We should take a moment to... to have a moment of silence and press F in the chat. No, body, my brother! No, please, please, Elvis Foxy, bury me with my brother! There's no way I'm living without him! Uh, Miss Bonnet, I'd advise you to get off the casket. No! I want to be buried with my brother! Please bury me with him! Don't worry, I got I got her. No! Please, Toy Boy, let me go! No, Bonnie, please! I want to be with you forever, my brother! Alright, before Bonnie's sister was able to interrupt us, we shall have to take a moment to... of silence. A moment of silence to commemorate the heroes of Fazbear Hills also known as the Fazbears. <sighs> Can't believe it. First I lost two sons, and now I lost the other two. <sighs> Fredbear. <sighs> I'm starting to think to myself, what if that explosion wasn't an accident? Huh? Like, there's no way that the explosion there has to be a cause to that explosion, like a reason that explosion happened. I don't think Team Fazbear's that explosion at the Fazbear base wasn't an accident. I think it was someone caused it. <gasps> so what? You saying that Fazbear's the Fazbear's death, like the six Fazbears, like it wasn't an accident? No, I know that Team Fazbear's has enemies. But I'm going to find out who might have caused the explosion. But you did say that one Fazbear survived the explosion, right? Well, yes, it, it was Toy Foxy, but she was hurt pretty badly in the explosion and, and has been disfigured because of it. Come on, Fredbear. We're heading to Fazbear City. Wait, you, you want me to come with you? Listen, you've always been there for me ever since I was a little kid. You're basically my best friend and my dad. So if there's anyone I can trust to go on this mission with me, it's you. What's the mission? We're going to find answers to who caused the explosion at the Fazbear base, and we're going to avenge your sons. We're going to avenge Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Golden Freddy, the puppet. We're going to avenge all of them. Alright, heading to Fazbear City is going to be a long trip, which is why I'm going to need some... My Harry Potter novel collection, some Tide Pods just in case we get a, bit, a little bit hungry, Ugh, my Fortnite pickaxe that I made out of pure gold. Why would we need a Fortnite pickaxe for this journey? Because, Fredbear, you know the kids these days doing their Fortnite dances and, and playing Fortnite all the day and eating Tide Pods as snacks. Because you know, like, you and mom always ta told me, like, Hey, alright, little bit, stop playing on those video games. The, the screens are going to hurt your eyes. Well, look at me now. Yeah, like, both me and Spring Bonnie knew that you were an alien, but we still were just looking after you, alright? You said before that I was an alien. I didn't need anyone to help me or anyone to look after me. Now come on, Donut Lord, let's head to the car and move out. Yeah. Alright, Fredbear, remember, only Toy Foxy was the, was the only person that actually survived the explosion, and is in critical health. And where exactly, which hospital in Fazbear City is she, is she being held in? Well, she's being held in Fazbear City General Hospital. That's the hospital that she was checked in and, and is being treated at. Alright, I believe that since she survived the explosion, she might have some answers on who might be responsible for the, the Fazbear's their base's destruction. 
All right, Fred Bear, let's move out. <laughs> hmm. So, Lob and the Jago and Dona Lord are work back to working together to solve whoever destroyed the Fazbear Man to their base. <laughs> Turns out that mic controlling bug actually does well, as well as that sleeper agent. I never thought she had it in her to destroy the Fazbear Mansion in such an explosion, making sure that only she survived. But if they find exactly what's happening, then if they discover the truth, then my revenge will, won't be absolute. I must take care of both Fredbear and Lobinajago, as well as Toy Foxy. So you called us, boss? Yes, you two are as strong as Shao Frey, correct? Now, I, I'm assigning you two to go after a Donut Lord and a Lobin and Jago. Um, you sure that we can handle it, boss? You see, you two are strong, as strong as one of my former acquaintances, Shadow Freddy and Shadow Bonnie. I'm sure you could probably handle the mission. Do be continued in the next episode of The Death of Team Fazbear's.